What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we've got a review. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we've got a review for Banggood. This is an RGT Terminator SC and it is the 1 16th. Hang on a minute. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Um, on... I am tired. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, we've got a review for Banggood. And this is the Runner DT from RGT. It's a 1 16th scale desert truck. And it looks awesome. Let's get out of the box before I forget anything else. So in the box you get some, well I want to say instructions, it's more like a parts list. With all the parts on there. You get a little charger, it's a mini Tamiya connection on there. And it's on this one, it looks like a US plug. No good to me. And then you get a little 1100 milliamp hour, 7.2 volt nickel metal high drive. Now I'm pretty sure on the Banggood website it says LiPo, or it might say LiPo on the box. It's actually nickel metal high drive, but don't fear, they do take a LiPo 2S and 3S. We'll talk about that in a minute. And you get this RGT transmitter, which is a rebranded Dumbo RC. This is a three channel one. There's no fourth channel on that, but you've got your third channel there. You've got your um, steering dual rate, steering trim, throttle dual rate, throttle trim underneath there, throttle forward and reverse. These are really popular, these Dumbo RC transmitters. I've got loads of them. It seems to be the new um, standard transmitter for stuff like this, this hobby grade stuff that's coming out of China. I say hobby grade because it's got all separate electronics that we'll look at in a minute. But this uh, Dumbo RC or this rebranded Dumbo RC seems to be um, the go-to. So... Really good there, massive range on them. Never had any issues with all the ones I've got. Like I've said, I've got loads of them. Uh, thumbs up. I like getting them uh, with these trucks. Now, the actual truck itself. What a cool little desert buggy or desert truck this is. Now, I don't know if you can see it on this camera, so let's have a closer look at this body and just this truck in general because it looks amazing. If you follow the channel if you are subscribed and um, you may recognize the paint scheme a little bit and that's because recently i also reviewed the short course version the only thing i didn't like about this was how high that suspension is i tried to get it to droop a bit more but it just sits really high i mean it works well but that was my only um only negative really it was a really good truck runs really well it's not the fastest thing does about 16 mile an hour I expect this to be a little bit quicker with the slightly bigger wheels. Um, but overall, this was really good. I did break this one though. I went to do a second video of it running 2S and 3S and I broke it. So no video of that just yet. Um, at the time, I couldn't get any parts. I've not looked again. Parts availability might be there now. If not, I'm sure it's coming. Anyway, let's undo the body. and Let's have a look underneath. Nice little hinged body. So underneath we've got, that is a, uh, I think it looks like a five or six channel receiver. They've blanked off three of the channels because you're only using channel one, two, and then you've got channel three open there because of the uh, transmitter, but easy enough to uh, remove there if you need to. On off switch. Then you've got a little Hobbywing ESC. Little Hobbywing ESC under there, and it does take 2S and 3S. So I'll run this during this review on the, uh, standard battery but I've also got a couple of little 1500 milliamp hour lipos that I like to use with an adapter makes these a little bit more punchy don't really get anything on the top end of them but the lipo just works a little bit better with these and then on this side you got a little 380 um, brushed motor just to know the ESC is waterproof but I wouldn't submerge these I mean I like to test mine and submerge them and quite often they work okay but now and again they go up in smoke not this ESC in particular the hobby wing ones are usually right it's the cheap unbranded ones where the problems lie metal dog bones at the front uh, metal diff cups there's metal gears metal gears on the diff crown and sort of pinion on the diff are metal and the internals are metal as well you've got bearings throughout the drivetrain I have noticed on the hubs which I pointed out in the last video 
that they're actually in their, their bushings rather than bearings. But the main drivetrain has got bearings in it. Then you've got your solid rear axle at the back, open diff at the back, same as open diffs at the front. Um, plastic drive shaft, but it does look like a pretty um, sturdy one. And the all important oil shocks, and they are nice oil shocks as well. They give it a nice sort of damping, um, no, no rebound on there at all. They're quite soft, but they've got adjustable collars, so you can adjust them, tune them if you want. Put your own oil in if you want and there's just a few different holes on there if you want to adjust the height and stuff like that so overall a very nice truck from rgt that gives you a little bit of tunability when it comes to the suspension unfortunately your um all your steering arms that are fixed but it's easy enough to make up um, little turnbuckles out of out of threaded bar and stuff and then the tires no foams in there i'd have liked to have seen some foams in there but they feel quite soft and they're going to give you a nice bit of grip. Tyres are neatly glued on. They're not beadlocks, but yeah, the tyres are neatly glued on. And uh, yeah, what a nice desert buggy. Let's take it out for a run. Right then, let's see how this thing goes. <laughs> Whoa. So reasonable speed about it. I think the short course done about, I want to say 16 mile an hour. It might have been more like 13, but still it's got the power to get over all the uh, terrain anyway, regardless of the speed. Well, traction roll. So one of the most noticeable things about this style of um, like desert buggy, because it's quite high up, they do roll over like the 12428 from WL Toys. Um, and even some of the bigger brands like the Axials and stuff like that, they do suffer a little bit with the, I want to say traction roll, but it's also to do with the where the battery is and stuff like that. But these aren't designed for the road. So on this sort of surface, I'll just show you. It's perfect because it slips. You don't get that traction roll. And that's what these are designed for. These desert buggies are not designed for the uh, tarmac. But they will roll on grass as well, because grass, you actually get quite a bit of traction on grass if it's dry, but this is the terrain you want. This is definitely something you need to watch out for on um, when you're running stuff, is if you get anything stuck or tangled in the axle, uh, this is where you're gonna damage it. This should be all right, because it's got open diffs, but this was a fixed, um, like locked diff. This is where you can cause issues with uh, stripping gears. Anyway, this thing is really cool. Uh, them shocks on it, the nice oil shocks, uh, taking all them little bumps and stuff. Ideal, whoa. They do a brushless version of this, but I've not seen it for sale yet. But I would definitely be interested in one. I think it'll probably roll a little bit more than this with the extra speed. See if we can do a bit of a jump here. Yeah. Try ah. them shocks out. So like I said, shocks work nicely to absorb them uh, bumps and little jumps. All in all, what a nice little desert buggy. Uh, this thing's really cool. Interested to see the brushless version. This has got some speed, but I'd say maybe a little bit more. But as you've seen, it actually tackles the terrain. No problem at all. Right, let's get some action shots. Cheers for watching. See you next time.